The countdown is on to the government's intention to regularize webshop gaming in the Bahamas. Despite the unanimous decision made at last year's gaming referendum not to legalize the industry, an attorney representing 95% of the number of houses in the country is weighing in on the decision and is also giving his recommendations on the proposed taxation for all number of houses come July 1st. Attorney Alfred Sears believes there are at least 45 gambling houses in the Bahamas that rake in roughly $380 million in projected sales annually. However, he believes if the government agrees to a 5% taxation rate, it will not only open up a window of opportunities for the country's number one industry, but will also allow web shop operators to maintain their international standards and obligations. A fair rate would be uh, 5% which is the rate currently applied uh, to the casinos. And based on that rate, uh, the government receives on average about $28 uh, million each year from the casinos. I assume, uh, based on the figures of, that have been uh, presented with respect to the annual sales of the web shop industry, uh, the government should be able to receive at least an equal amount of taxation uh, from the web shop industry. Now, even though there has been much debate about web shop gaming here in recent years, it's no secret that these unregulated operations are making a great impact in their communities. So gaming is a key feature of the tourism product in the Bahamas. It therefore is important, I believe, um, and certainly I commend the government because I think it's good public policy, that all areas of gaming uh, be regulated to protect the national interests of the Bahamas, to level the playing field between the foreign-operated casinos and the Bahamian-owned domestic uh, gaming industry. While the government has not yet tabled the amended gaming bill, Sarah's believes web shop owners are ready to meet the licensing criteria by the proposed July 1st deadline. The shop industry as an area of uh, the Bahamian economy, uh, though currently unregulated, has have proven themselves uh, to be good corporate citizens in terms of um, the support of worthy educational, cultural, athletic, and civic uh, organizations and activities, uh, relief work after hurricanes. I think the public record would establish that uh, the web shop industry have been uh, good corporate citizens. Uh,